We begin with a breaking news update. A family in agony tonight after gunmen opened fire at the Greater Cran Crossing neighborhood, killing two mothers and leaving their three young boys fighting for their lives. I honestly can't even tell you what I thought was going on. Frank Mixon was home visiting from college when he woke up to gunfire. I just woke up, went upstairs, and I just saw a massacre of everything, you know. So it was, it was, it was, it was very vivid for the mind for me to just see everything. It was crazy. You can wake up five in the morning, and decide to go run in somebody's house and do something like this, and don't think that ain't gonna affect nobody or you. I don't even think. That's all I can say. She shielded her baby so that he wouldn't get hit. So she really died to save her children. So unfortunately on this holiday morning, we find ourselves uh, at the scene of another tragedy. Uh, we're in the 7100 block of South Woodlawn where about 6.15 a.m. this morning, officers responded and uh, were alerted to shots fired. They arrived, they found multiple people shot. Investigation reveals that includes a 42-year-old female, a 22-year-old female, three tender age children, which range from ages 5, 7, and 8. Officers immediately rendered first aid, which included tourniquets, pressure bandages, and CPR. Investigation reveals that two vehicles pulled up into the area multiple subjects exited those vehicles and fired at this residence. Multiple shell casings were recovered from both a rifle and a handgun at the scene. That investigation is ongoing. Area 1 detectives are on the scene and working with the officers here. It appears that this started from some type of personal dispute but all this information is very preliminary at this time. Uh, anybody that has any, any information can contact the third district or they can contact area one detectives. Welcome to Explore Crimes. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. On a somber Thursday morning, just as the sun began to rise over Chicago's Grand Crossing neighborhood, a scene of unimaginable horror unfolded. At 6.15 a.m., the sound of gunfire shattered the early morning quiet on the 7100 block of South Woodlawn Avenue, turning an ordinary day into a nightmare. The chaos, the chaos started when two cars pulled up in front of a home in the Grand Crossing neighborhood. A group of men wearing ski masks got out of the cars and walked up to the house. They banged on the door, and moments later, started shooting wildly. Inside the house, a family was caught completely off guard, and their lives were changed forever in an instant. When the gunfire ceased, the damage was devastating. Five people had been shot, two women and three young boys. At approximately 6.15 a.m., Chicago police were dispatched to the 7100 block of South Woodlawn Avenue following multiple frantic calls reporting the shooting. Officers were confronted with a chaotic and heartbreaking scene. Five people, including three young children, had been shot inside the home. The officers acted swiftly, administering first aid and applying pressure bandages in a desperate bid to save lives. Home. Tragically, 42-year-old Nikesia Strong was pronounced dead at the scene. Nearby, 22-year-old Capri Edwards lay critically injured. She was quickly rushed to the University of Chicago Hospital, where despite the efforts of medical staff, she succumbed to her wounds. Inside the house, Edward's two young sons, aged five and seven, and their eight-year-old cousin were also found with severe gunshot injuries. The children were immediately transported to Cummer Children's Hospital, where they remained in critical condition. Marquita Scott is calling her daughter, 24-year-old Capri Edwards, a hero for protecting her one-year-old son after she was killed in a mass shooting. But two of her other kids were shot, five-year-old Scotty and eight-year-old Colby. Edwards' aunt, 42-year-old Nikesha Strong, was also killed. Her seven-year-old son, Bryson, was shot. All three kids are in the hospital fighting for their lives. Nikesha Strong, a 42-year-old woman, 
was the heart and soul of her family. She worked tirelessly at FedEx to support her loved ones and was known for her nurturing spirit and open home, where family gatherings were always filled with love and warmth. She was the glue that held everyone together, always bringing joy and unity to their lives. Markeva Scott, the mother of Capri Edwards, spoke of Nakisha's boundless generosity and willingness to help anyone in need. A very loving person, she always was to help anybody if they need help if they don't have nowhere to go. Always had an open house with them, Marquita said, noting that this kindness was why Capri and her children were staying with Nakisha. Nakisha's tragic death has left a deep void in the hearts of those who knew her, highlighting the profound impact she had on her family and community. At just 22 years old, Capri Edwards was a young mother whose life was cut tragically short. Capri's final moments were marked by an act of profound bravery and selflessness as she shielded her one-year-old child from the onslaught of bullets that ultimately took her life. Despite her youth, Capri was a devoted mother to her three sons and was known for her fierce love and protective nature. Capri's heroic actions and her vibrant spirit will forever be remembered by her family and friends. Later on Thursday, Chicago police reported another devastating blow. One of the eight-year-old boys had died from his injuries. The Cook County Medical Examiner's Office had not identified the eight-year-old boy who died as of Thursday night. And those victims have been identified as 42-year-old Nakisha Strong and 24-year-old Capri Edwards. The boys ages 5, 7, and 8. The shooting happened around 6.15 this morning. Multiple bullet holes could be seen in the home's windows and shell casings littered the street at 71st and Woodlawn. An 8-year-old boy has died after a mass shooting. It took place early this morning on the south side, bringing the death toll to three. Both families are devastated because they lost a woman and her niece due to gun violence. Those bullets took those bullets took two lives and injured three boys. I feel like I'm in a movie or something right now because I just can't believe this happened. Marquita Scott is in disbelief knowing her daughter, 24 year old Capri Edwards was shot and killed in a mass shooting early this morning. I'm numb right now numb because not only is her daughter dead, but her grandchildren, five-year-old Scotty and eight-year-old Colby were shot as well. And we just praying for the best for my grandkids. It's going to be hard to let, let them know their mother's no longer here. Edward's aunt, 42-year-old Nakisha Strong, was also killed. Her seven-year-old son, Bryson, was shot. She was a very loving person. She always wanted to help any and everybody if they needed help or they didn't have anywhere to go. She always had an open house with them. That's why my daughter was there. We also spoke to Strong's family, who didn't want to be on camera, who was also inside when the shooting happened just after 6 this morning. One of Strong's sons says several bullets came flying through the window. You can see the holes in the windows of this house. Strong's mother says she's devastated and is praying her grandson will pull through. <coughs> Police say the shooting happened in the 7100 block of South Woodlawn Avenue, saying this stemmed from an altercation last week and they came back to retaliate. Scott says her daughter had nothing to do with it and now she's left with her daughter gone and two grandchildren fighting for their lives. Scott is calling her daughter a hero for protecting her one year old son. I say my daughter's a hero because she did what she's supposed to protect her kids and she gave her own life up to make sure that her children were fine. And I will always love her for that. And I will always just tell her she's my hero. Scott says Edwards was not only her daughter, but her best friend because they spoke every day through FaceTime. She says their main focus is her grandchildren and making sure they pull through. Yeah, police say right now they are looking through surveillance video for any possible people involved in that shooting that's left so many people distraught today. We're told the family was inside of their home when bullets came flying in through the window just after six o'clock this morning. Take a look at this video, a chaotic scene near 71st Street and Woodlawn. You can see at one point a police officer holding a small child near a stretcher there. The shooting happened around 615 this morning. Multiple bullet holes could be seen in the home's window there. Shell casings littered the 
street, we're told, from a rifle and a handgun. Three boys, a five-year-old, a seven-year-old, and an eight-year-old were all hit by gunfire and taken to the hospital. They remain in critical condition. Their mothers were both killed, 42-year-old Nakisha Strong and 24-year-old Capri Edwards. His mother, Nakisha Strong, in her 40s was killed. Mixon says she worked hard. She was an employee of FedEx. My mom, like such an amazing woman, no one ever showed me how to go get in and work hard like her. Um, working day and night, take care of kids who aren't hers. Described as the person in the family that would get everyone together here at our home in the 7100 block of Woodlawn. A neighbor reported seeing men knocking on the door at around 615 Thursday morning. Those knocks turned into gunfire. As for Mixon, he was surrounded by his high school coaches. The now college basketball player says his mother would want him to stay focused and keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom was one of the most wonderful women you could ever meet in your life. Definitely the love of my life for sure. The shock and grief that swept through the community in the wake of the tragedy is palpable. Family members struggled to comprehend the senseless loss of Nakishia Strong and Capri Edwards, both cherished for their kindness and strength. Friends and neighbors, who had often gathered at Nakisha's welcoming home, were left reeling from the violence that shattered their sense of safety. Community members, stunned by the brutality of the shooting, came together in mourning and solidarity, grappling with the heavy emotional toll. The sorrow deepened when it was later announced that one of the children, an eight-year-old boy, had succumbed to his injuries. This additional loss intensified the collective heartbreak, underscoring the devastating impact of the tragedy on the entire community. deepest condolences to the family and friends affected by this unimaginable tragedy. May you find solace and strength in each other as you navigate through this heartbreaking loss. Our thoughts and prayers are with you, and we hope that the memories of Nakishia Strong, Capri Edwards, and the young child who passed away will bring you comfort. May the departed rest in peace, forever remembered for their love and kindness. Chicago, let's just come together. Let's come together. Let, let's stop it all. We know it's senseless. We hear it every day. But if we don't work together, it won't stop. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.